In this video, we're gonna go over my favorite pattern to look for every single morning. Pay attention, take notes, utilize this, learn it, live it, love it. What's up, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader here. Um, I'm trying to teach you everything I've learned the hard way over 20 plus years. A lot of the lessons are counterintuitive. A lot of the best patterns go against what you might think. You know, there's this thinking where it's like, oh, I want to buy momentum stocks that just keep going. It's very difficult to buy a stock hitting new highs because you never know when you're gonna run into a solid brick wall. I don't like chasing stocks. Um, for me, I like panic dip buying. Uh, especially near the morning. If you actually click a link below, um, I'll link you to my favorite blog post of mine. It's a free blog post on my blog, timothysykes.com. Um, you can learn about morning panic dip buys. There's a whole bunch of videos and examples. Click the link below. While you're at it, you can click like, click subscribe too if you like these videos. Um, but I think it's important to note that you don't want to just dip buy anything. What is a morning panic dip buy? What's the best morning panic dip by opportunity. Um, if a company that is just a random stock and it all of a sudden drops 5%, 10%, you'll see a lot of people in different chat rooms on social media being like, oh, look at this deal, it's such a good deal. I'm not interested in dip buying it unless it's a multi-day runner, ideally a multi-week runner, um, and during that run-up, it didn't have any dips. The best panics that bounce the most are ones where there's plays where they're just going up every single day gradually, maybe even very fast, but there's no dips along the way. So anybody watching doesn't necessarily want to chase, they're waiting for that one opportunity to dip by. You want like a large group of people who are willing to dip by at you know any key level. Secondly, um, ideally you want short sellers who have been squeezed along the way. Um, there's no accurate short selling data. Uh, most of the data is like one or two months delayed. And even when you see the short interest from a month or two ago, it's not usually accurate. So I hate to burst your bubble. The good news is short sellers are like angry vegans and they like to tell everybody that they're short. So you can use social media, specifically use um, stocks to trade breaking news. I'll post a link to Stocks to Trade Breaking News. They alert not all just the, the best pumps, but also the biggest short squeezes. So if shorts have been squeezed along the way, and again, they're gonna talk about it on social media because they think they're so noble, they think they're better than everybody else, when in fact, they're really just decrepit human beings. But we're thankful for their stupidity and their uh, ego and you know, desire for attention because without all of that, we wouldn't know that they were short. So thank you, short sellers. Don't worry, short sellers aren't gonna watch this video. They have too much ego to ever learn from anybody else. They think that they're right. They don't need to listen to anybody else. I get it. I used to be a short seller. I used to have that ego. I know. Now I'm on the outside of the clan looking in and I'm throwing them some carrots every now and then, but I know that they're you know, too uh, just egotistical to even accept the carrots of knowledge. I know it's a weird analogy, but it works. You want a short squeeze, why? Because when the stock crashes, if it's down 20, 30, 40%, not just five or 10%, if it crashes big, the short sellers will cover. So the bigger the panic, the better for the dip buyers, the bigger the panic, the better for the short sellers to cover. When shorts cover, they have to buy to cover. So that's two groups of buyers, if it is going to bounce. You gotta start to think about this. You can't just dip buy any small dip. Um, you know, again, a lot of these, uh, you know, communities will say like a little dip is a good opportunity to buy and you might make a little bit of money. But if you get in the habit of dip buying stocks that are only down 2%, 3%, 5%, or even 10%, sometimes you're going to be wrong. You're not going to be able to cut your losses and you're going to be part of the morning panic. Okay. That's what I don't want you to happen. Um, I don't want you to be a part of, you know, what we're actually trying to take advantage of. The key is not looking to trade. The key is waiting for absolute sheer panic. And usually this happens when a stock is down 20, 30, or 40%, ideally near the open. Um, you don't wanna necessarily just dip by a stock midday or late day. 
because uh, it's oftentimes very difficult for it to bounce. But if it's near the market open, a lot of the, the reason why it's panicking so much is due to stop losses. Um, it's due to just you know waves and waves of sellers taking out uh, a lot of key support levels because the stock is up so much over several days or several weeks. The higher it's up over the past few days and the, the longer the run up, like if it's like a seven day run up or a 10 day run up as opposed to a two or three day run up, the better the potential for a panic because people will put their stop losses, specifically newbies, um, at key levels. So let's say a stock has gone up, I don't know, for two weeks and it's gone up from two to $10 a share. Nice run up, very gradual in this hypothetical example. When it crashes from 10 to nine to eight to seven, there's gonna be stop losses on every single round number. Maybe even at 750, 650, like half dollar a share marks. And all of those stop losses start to pile up and that creates this panic. These are the best inefficiencies to take advantage of. So you can't look for it. You can't say, oh, I need to dip by now because when you want it too badly, this is usually when I lose or you will lose. Um, you just have to let the panic come to you. And you say, look, if a stock is running up, you'll see me in my chat room and I'll always say, the higher the better. Spike it as high as you can. Discord promoters, pump it up. Do more coke, do more blow, lure in more newbies. Get the stock as high as possible because then it's like a jet without fuel and then it crashes. So I want maximum spike and maximum panic. That creates opportunity for these morning panic dip buys. And if you do have the patience to wait for the 20, 30, 40% drops, and you see that turn on level two, um, you know, watch my learn to, to read level two DVD. Um, it's an amazing opportunity to really see the bid in the ask reverse, like the momentum flips at the bottom. And if it's near the market open, you can get these 10, 20, 30, sometimes even 40 or 50% bounces. I've seen stocks, especially when they're in a giant short squeeze, you know, that's up, let's say the stock is up two, three, 400% over the past few days, and then it crashes, let's say 30%. It can crash 30% and then bounce 50%. It can go from green to big red on the day, back to green on the day, if there's another, you know, short squeeze. Um, shorts like to cover low, but sometimes if it bounces too much and the shorts don't cover low, they start getting squeezed again. And then they're like all messed up in the head because they had the opportunity to take profits and they didn't do it again because they're like angry vegans, very egotistical. So thank you short sellers. Thank you Discord chat room promoters. Thank you newbies for using stop losses. All of this combines to create ideal opportunities for those of us who are not egotistical, for those of us not looking to trade, for those of us who laugh at promoters. If you stay independent, if you stay self-sufficient, and if you stay patient waiting for these plays, you don't have to invest in a mutual fund or a blue chip stock to make 10, 20, 30% over the course of the year. You can make 10, 20, 30% inside of an hour. When all of these indicators line up, it doesn't happen every day, it doesn't happen every morning, but the good news is when you see a play that's spiking for several days, whether it's a short squeeze, whether it's a Discord promo, whether you know maybe the company even just had good earnings or like a, a new product announcement, whatever the case may be, the higher that it's up, the longer that the run up has taken, all you have to do is sit back, listen to this video, click the blog post below, read it, be prepared, I also have a thousand plus videos on morning panic dip buys, like this is one of my favorite patterns. Preparation is key, patience is key. Leave a comment below, you tell me, are you gonna be prepared, are you gonna be patient? Let these panics come to you and then when there is at that max panic point where all the shorts wanna cover, where all the Discord chat rooms are confused because they're down 30, 40% and their promoter didn't warn them, that is the time to strike. Watch the beginning of the movie Gladiator where he says, on my mark, unleash hell. That's the kind of patience that you need. And I'm not saying unleash hell, I'm saying click the little buy order. It's a good risk reward opportunity. Study up!